Good morning. Welcome to Rock Painting Workshops. Today we are going to do this flower butterfly and I'm going to do it in orange and yellow colors. So let's just get started and I'm just going to color in the main uh, butterfly colors and because I'm going to make it two colors so I'm making it orange and yellow. So I'm just taking it probably about three quarters of the way across the wings with the orange and then I'm going to do the tips in yellow. Okay, bring that across. So you can see on one side and it's a popular image at the moment. You'll see them everywhere where they have the butterfly on one half and then the other half is flowers that represent the wings. So I'm just coloring in with the yellow on the other side. Okay. And I'm going to I'm going to keep the the same color on both sides. So I'm going to use the yellow and oranges across on the other side of the flowers. And I'm just coloring in quickly each segment on the flower with the main color, which is the okra color, the new it's a new color by Posca. And it's not available in all countries. So every time I use one of the new colors, everyone's like, oh, I can't, use, I can't see it. It's not available. Like it is in UK and Australia. It's only in the 5M size. And I have no more knowledge about it. That's all I know. Okay. Just put that second coat now because we've left it for about a minute or so. The first layer is completely dry. So I'm just adding in the second second layer of color now and then I'm going to use the same orange and I'm going to use this to shade in some areas onto the flowers so I've dipped it in water the paintbrush in water gotten rid of any excess water and I'm just tapping onto the top of my paint pen and I'm just giving that a little bit of a smush on the flowers and that gives that two-tone color look to it all and I've decided on top of the yellow, I'm just going to put some of uh, yellow glitter pen. And I'll just add that into some of the petals, not in across all of the areas, but I'm just going to highlight some of the petals onto the rose, onto the flowers as well. Okay. This one is the orange glitter pen. So you can see I'm doing some sections now with the orange glitter. Again, I'm not I'm choosing to not do the whole area, but just into the blended where the yellow and orange meet together. I'll just pop some of that orange glitter. And it's really important before you start your black. I was taking photo for Facebook followers, but before you start the black that you let those colors dry completely. Okay? Cuz if you add the next color in and it's wet the previous layer is wet they will just start blending together so I'm just going to should have tested this pen before I even started so you can see it's not working too well nibs really dried out just grabbed another one normally I test it on Bert and I'm not doing that today so I'm setting a really bad example not testing my pens before I just get in there but yeah, if, if any of that orange or yellow are wet and I start doing this black, it'll just start bleeding into each other. So you just want to make sure that the other colors are dry first and then you can add in the next layer or your outlines like I am here. So even if you don't have the best coverage yet, this is just a nice thin layer. We want to let that dry. Then we'll add the second layer and it will become really uh really oh what's the word you know when you can't even think of the words you want to use opaque it will become very opaque just like this this is two coats and you can see how black that looks now then we're just going to trace over the rows now and give all the definition to the lines that we've used on the rows so yeah, a lot of people just like to keep going really thick while the, the paint pens are there and try and get that finished color. 
that they know they want and the only and best way to achieve that is one thin layer it will not look all even and nice and pretty and it's not what you want on the first layer and let it dry add the second layer and you can see that it's very opaque and much more even looking with that second layer Yeah, so there's so many of these floral butterflies around at the moment. I really don't know where they started or where they came from. It's a really popular image. I know I saw some quite a while back in the Colouring In Adults Colouring In books. So I know they were popular back then, but I've seen a lot uh, in on art sites at the moment, on t-shirts, all different, different um, places you're seeing this image. All right, so we've got all that outline. Just going to come into some of the join areas and add that as a little bit of extra black. Just gives it a little bit of shading, a little bit of depth. And if you're ever wondering where, just think of where two areas join together and that's where you can add that little bit of shading. Just keep going around like that. And especially if you're not going to do any background colour, I always leave that up for anyone that's doing my tutorials to decide what they would like to do as the background. But when you know you're not adding any background or uh, colour around the outside edge, then you can draw the antennae. How do you say that? Antenna? Antennae? Okay, the little things at the top that they feel their way around with so do that last it's just like a cat you do the whiskers last once you know all the colors in and here we're just taking the white pen and adding in some of the highlights I'm just adding a little bit more it's getting a little uh, light looking just want to touch a little bit more orange in there so that it gives it that little bit more depth These are just all the highlight areas. Yeah, so you can change up the colours. I've got some tutorials on our Facebook page where I've done butterflies in blue and green. This one I decided to go orange and yellow. So you can pop over there and have a look at some different coloured butterflies that we've been creating. And you can always find us at Reef Rocks Free Workshops on Facebook. See you there.